everyone, Letty here from Party Planner Papery. Today I have a not too shabby shop design team uh, video. It's a paper pad club unboxing. We have an easy card tutorial using the Crafty Mama Diary sketch. Welcome back everyone. I'm on the design team for the Not Too Shabby Shop for this term. Here's their logo. I will list a website affiliate link down in the description box below. Here's a little more information. So today I'm featuring the November 2023 Paper Pad Club and Add-on Ephemera Pack. The Paper Pad Club comes with two different paper pads. We have Angel Wings, 12 designs, six by six papers. These are double-sided, really, really cute. And what I love is that one of the sheets has cut-aparts, which is this one right here. So you get four different sheets of cut-aparts. They're all the same pattern, but you get four of them which is really nice because you'll have some ephemera that coordinates for that one then the second paper pad is called a shabby christmas 12 design six by six sheets of paper also double-sided i think this one is one of my favorites from not too shabby of all time this is so super cute i love the color pattern on this one and this one does not have a separate you know cut apart sheet within the paper pad but there is an add-on ephemera pack that you can add on that has the coordinating ephemera so this one is some coordinating ephemera called a shabby christmas of course coordinates with that paper pad you see there really cute let me show you a still shot of the images that comes in that ephemera pack here you go just a lot of really pretty images i love the muted tones in this one so again this was the november paper pad club and add-on ephemera from the not too shabby shop let's dive into today's project so for today, aside from the Paper Pad Club and Add-on Ephemera, I'm also bringing in the Holly Jolly stamp set, also from the Not Too Shabby Shop, for the both of these sentiments. I'm going to be using both of these really cute sentiments, one on the inside of my cards, one on the outside. And so those are the items I'm using today. I did make six total cards. We're going to make one on camera together, but let me show you. I'm following the Crafty Mama Diaries sketch. This was, I think, her sketch number one. This was her first sketch. I am just obsessed with this because I you can basically turn it into a no-scrap sketch. Um, um, I stamped on the inside. I did also layer up some of the uh, papers on the outside. I added some ephemera, popped them up. And so I made two different designs. I have one design where I cut up all of those little pieces of ephemera from that second paper pad, the Angel Wings paper pad. And then I am going to be doing one on camera with you today using the Ashabi Christmas. So I've already added some glossy accents to my ephemera piece, popped it up with foam dimensional tape. I stamped uh, the sentiment on a uh, white die cut i also have a scalloped die cut or punch that i'm going to be layering i have one sheet of six by six paper i'm going to show you how to cut this down and then i have my card base with already a sentiment stamped on the inside of my card from that holly jolly stamp set so today we're going to take this one sheet of six by six paper we're going to cut it down and i'm going to show you how you can cut it down and have very minimal scraps so this is double-sided you pretty much want to check your your directions and so your orientation make sure it's top to bottom or up right cut it at five and one fourth inch just like this so now it's five and one fourth inch wide by six inches and make sure you save that scrap we're going to put that on the inside of our card so we have our paper you're going to rotate it once where the top is to the right hand side and then cut it at four inches on that six inch side so you'll have a section that's four inches wide and a section that's two inches wide now your two inch strip is going to be the banner that goes right on top we are going to take our scissors and just add a little fish tail to both ends so you cut a little slit right in the inside and I'm going up about maybe half an inch and then you just cut from the end or the corners up to that center cut just like this and so super super easy fishtail so again cut about half an inch up and then cut from the corners into that half inch mark make sure you don't go beyond your cut um, and that will make your two little fishtail banners so that is how easy it is and so then what I'll do is I will take my card base that I have my sentiment I'll layer my large mat my banner my die cut circle or punch circle and then my stamp sentiment right on top now the one thing I'll do is I am going to add one additional embellishment here that I pop up with foam dimensional tape but that will pretty much be my card let's go ahead and start with this scrap so I'm going to add the scrap to the inside of my card first because it's flat now you could cut this down to like five and a quarter and put it on the inside you know but I'm actually going to use up as much of this paper as I can so I'm going to put it all the way to the end I'm going to take my scissors and just trim off the edge and so I'm going to basically measure it first that's my only scrap that I'm going to have of this entire sheet and then I'm going to go ahead and glue this little strip down right towards the bottom of my card and so again you cut that smaller but I figured I'm going to throw away the, the excess paper anyways let me just go ahead and maximize it now I'm going to glue my larger mat to the front of my card base and so I'm going to glue this down and of course if 
if you have orientation or it's upright, make sure you glue it correctly. And then we're gonna go ahead and glue our little banner piece that goes right on the middle front section of our card that's a different pattern and make sure that you are sort of rotating your pattern the, since it's double-sided paper. I'm gonna glue down my scalloped circle, which is about three inches, and then I'm gonna glue down my stamped sentiment circle, which is about two and a half inches. Glue that down just like this, right to the middle. So this is pretty much the sketch, but I'm gonna add one additional embellishment that I have popped up with foam dimensional tape. I'm gonna go ahead and peel that off, add some additional wet adhesive, and then go ahead and add it to the front of my card. So here is my finished card. Here's a side-by-side -side with Helen's sketch. It's so super cute. I love this sketch. I love that you don't have a ton of leftovers, a lot of scraps. So this is the perfect way to go through your stash and just make a ton of cards. So again, I have the November Paper Pad Club and the add-on ephemera pack, as well as one additional stamp set called Holly Jolly, all from the Not Too Shabby Shop. These items are available right now. I made six easy cards using the cra uh, Crafty Mama Diaries uh, sketch number one. I added my sentiment to the inside, and this first set is using a shabby Christmas paper pad and the add-on ephemera pack. These were the three cards that I had made. This first one was the one that we made on camera together. Here's the second one. I popped up those images those ephemera pieces so super cute and then the second i use the angel wings paper pad and by the way this actually coordinates with the stamp and die set of the month so if you have that that will coordinate perfectly with this paper pad as well i believe and so i used one full sheet of the ephemera pieces glared them on the front and so that was my november paper pad club and add-on ephemera that i used from not too shabby as well as the holly jolly stamp set all available at the Not Too Shabby Shop right now. Make sure you get them while you can. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you got a little bit of inspiration to use these Not Too Shabby products. This was the Paper Pad Club and one additional stamp set that came out in one of their recent releases. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy crafting.